today is uh, February 26, 2013. This is a litter of seven Sheepadoodles. They were born on January 16th, 2013. They will be six weeks old on Thursday, today being Tuesday. Um, I've got a litter next door that's going to probably voice their objection to me speaking, but not to them. And that is Naomi's litter that was born on the 3rd of January, and the first three of her puppies begin to go home tomorrow. Um, okay, and the remaining, I believe, go home on Saturday. All right. Now, I wanted to, since they've gotten to an age, albeit that this group is a fairly quiet group, um, it is very difficult at this age to take still photos, so I know that everybody that is waiting. Now, this is a sold-out litter of Sheepadoodles. I do want to make this clear. Uh, this is Law Padoodle Kennel. We are located in Lost Creek, West Virginia, and of course our website is www.lawpdoodle kennel, K-E-N-N-E-L.com. Um, our email is lpdk10608 at gmail.com. If you would like to uh, contact us and uh, find out about our future litters, we do believe that we have a couple litters coming up this spring. Um, one of which we expect very soon to confirm pregnancy and we will be announcing it on our website at that time. We do have I believe 13 reservations currently um, for those upcoming litters but of course it does not mean that the very next litter will be claimed by all of those 13 or well I don't expect a litter of 13 puppies I hope not. Um, but it does, uh, they, they may be dispersed, they may choose to wait to a later litter. So regardless of uh, whether you, it, there's a good possibility that you may have a chance even if you do decide to commit with us. Um, or you can just wait and see what happens as far as our upcoming announcements uh, later this year for Sheepadoodle puppies. Okay, but this litter is spoken for and will begin to go home here in a couple of weeks. And this uh, video is to benefit those families that are anxiously awaiting the arrival of their new puppies. All right, now, let's see, I wanna just double check on something here. All right, this girl right here, I believe, is the one with the red collar, and this is the one we call Elantra, keeping in mind that these uh, um, ID names, which are themed upon cars, um, they are, most of them are, I mean, obviously, most of them get changed when they go home to their families. Okay, let's see. This is a pink girl. And our pink girl is the one Jetta. Let's see. It's very hard for me to tell pink from red, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> and when they're moving around like this, it becomes more of a challenge. But yes, this one is Jetta. And I'm sure that as each family knows their puppy fairly well from our various updates and still shots, that they uh, know their puppy even before I introduce them on the video. Alright. Okay, now this one is the one we call Sonata, and she is the one with the yellow collar. Okay. This is such a sweet litter of puppies. Yes, you guys are. Alright, this is actually one of our two boys. There's five girls and two boys in this litter. They are out of Jesse and Yogi. Jesse, of course, is our AKC registered standard poodle, black and white. She's been raised here since she was a puppy. And uh, likewise has Yogi. Yogi took us a year to find in our search for the perfect uh, Old English Sheepdog Stud. He is fully tested. Um, and he has been with us since he was a puppy. And you'll find pictures of both when they were puppies as well as adults on our website. And Jessie will actually be off. We'll be skipping her next heat cycle. So she's actually going to be off through her next heat cycle. Um, but this is a beautiful first litter was 10 puppies. Her second litter was seven puppies. No losses, no DOAs. She's a very, very good mommy and uh, excellent temperaments for her puppies. All right. Now this boy here, the one that... Um, Come here, buddy. The one with the green collar, the one of our two boys. This one is Morano. Okay, so there is Morano. We don't want to forget anybody. No, we don't. This girl here with the orange collar, uh, like her brother Morano, they both have a little tint of uh, brownish, grayish color in their coats already, so they're going to silver fairly early um, as they mature. And her name is Camry, or the one we call Camry, with the orange collar. She's a sweetheart. Yes, she is. Oh, look. 
What are you, are you pulling on my strings? Huh? You're pulling on my string. That was you, Con. Okay. All right. And here is Sonata again with the yellow collar. All right. And here is Elantra with the red collar. And where's Jetta? No, let's see. Okay, there is Elantra. Again, I'm hoping that I don't confuse. There's Jetta. Okay, she's the one with the pink collar. Now, I know I'm missing the purple collar. Where's Miss Odyssey? Where's Miss Odyssey? That might have been her right there. Is that Miss Odyssey? I can't. Their, their coats are getting so thick, it's harder to look to see there. She's playing with the toy. But I believe, yep, this is Miss Odyssey playing with one of the toys. Okay, so that's our other girl. <laughs> I love baby. You gonna learn to shake already? You gonna learn to shake already? How oh, baby? They're so much fun. I did clip their toenails. Yes. I wasn't doing that in my previous litters and I was ending up paying the price for it, or my arms were. So we clipped, we had their, our first bubble bath uh, a few days ago, it was last week. And we got our toenails clipped, didn't we? Chances are they'll have them clipped again, at least on the front before they go back home, before they go home. Because those little toenails can be very, very sharp and they don't mean any harm with it, but they're playful, you can see at this age. And likewise to be careful with their little teeth because puppies do play with their mouths. And uh, their teeth, they don't mean any harm, but their teeth can be very sharp too. So that's something that you wanna keep on top of as soon as they get home. Okay. Some of it is related to the herding instincts coming from the Old English Sheepdog as well. Here is a wide shot, once again, of our litter of sheep doodles born on the 16th of January, 2013. This is a sold-out litter, and uh, if you wish to wait for a puppy for, uh, from us for later this year, please contact us, and we'll fill you in a little bit more about our reservation policies. And uh, we do have plans, if all goes well. Um, keeping in mind that upcoming litters are somewhat within our control, but more often in the control of God and nature. So things don't always go as planned. We certainly do our best. And um, always keeping in mind the health and welfare of our dogs first. So if you would like to wait with us. And if not, we do have a couple of um, trusted breeder friends of sheep doodles and depending on their schedules, most are usually backed up with reservations as well uh, if you're dealing with a good breeder. And um, we certainly are more than happy to recommend them if they have something available. But uh, this is a fairly new breed, yet uh, Fast and Furious and becoming popular. And so, um, it has become a little bit more of a challenge to find them and if you really want them sometimes it is worthwhile to find a breeder you are comfortable with whether it be geographically or your relationship with that breeder and uh, how they take care of their dogs and whether they welcome you to their property um, if you're able to do so geographically and we certainly welcome visitors here um, and therein you may have to wait for a puppy if a breeder has puppies left over, you may want to question why. It could be just a matter of advertising. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a questionable breeder, but it certainly does call for a little bit more research. Um, I'm sure with time, uh, this breed may become more available, but unlike the Golden Doodles and Labradoodles, where Golden Retrievers and Labrador Retrievers are plentiful out there and have been for many, many years, the Old English Sheepdog 50% of the recipe of this particular breed is not a breed that is uh, as plentiful out there in the AKC world. Uh, certainly not in comparison of the other two breeds. So um, that leaves it a little bit, even even a little bit more of a challenge to find the hybrid sheep -a doodle breed. So just be careful. And we certainly welcome you to contact us and talk to us and uh, once again, we have a couple of breeder friends we work closely with that we will be glad to refer to as well. 
you can give us a call. Oh, sorry about that. This camera <laughs> goes in and out of focus, although I think it behaved itself a little bit better this time. Um, give us a call at 304-745-5878 if you would like to talk with us a little bit further about it as well. It is more difficult to catch me on the phone than via email as my email is always mobile with me. Obviously, I don't email while I'm driving, but um, I do take a smartphone with me everywhere I go so I can try to keep in touch. Um, and I will be traveling on the road a little bit this week as I get the uh, Naomi's litter home to their families. And then I'll be booked up solid with appointments here on Saturday. So it's a very, very busy week for me. Um, and unfortunately, phone calls, I love to take them and I love to talk with everybody. But it does oftentimes interfere with our schedule and trying to get the work needs to be done. And with this being a very busy week. Um, it will be challenged and get a hold of me, but you can certainly try. I am home most of the time, and again, it's 304-745-5878. And, um, oh, come on, guys. I know it's fun to play and to play tug of war, but we don't want to be playing and pulling on pants. No. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for viewing our puppies, and may God bless you.